Hey, Dave K here today, and we're at Kiki's Breakfast Cafe. Let's play. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Let's check it out. Here at Kiki's Breakfast Cafe, you can see what this version of the restaurant looks like here. Nice open feel. Here at Kiki's Breakfast Cafe to share with you a new atmosphere and try some new foods. And I'm here with Mike. Mike, are you excited for it? I'm excited, but I'm, I'm tempted by so many things in the menu. I, I'm a little confused. I'm like, omelet, waffle pancake, French toast. I don't know. You can see the menu here really does have a variety of options from those waffles and omelets on the top to this pancakes, more omelet options, just so much to consider. I have been once before, but we'll see what we do. You have to hand it to him here at Kiki's too. We walked in and there was a huge group of people by the door, so many people by the door, and they got us all seated immediately, so there was no wait to get seated. I was sure there would be at least some wait, so nice work, Kiki's. We're both looking at a variety of options, but that Hawaiian omelet with the pineapple sounds really good to me. And Mike, you're looking at? I'm looking at the fajita chicken breast omelet. Uh, it, it sounds a little unique. I want to try something unique today. It's got chicken breast with the omelet. I feel like that, that's gonna make for a very interesting flavor. Sounds great. So, we're looking at the proteiny side here, the omelets and the premium omelets. I'm not sure what I thought last time comparing the French toast to the omelet, but I'm sure it'll all be awesome. So, here we have our omelets. You can see I've got my Hawaiian omelet here with the pineapple and the ham looks fantastic. A little orange and toast on the side. And I thought this was supposed to be fries. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's like apples. It kind of looks like it's apples or onion or something. I'll let you know after I try it, but this looks awesome. And Michael has the fajita chicken omelet. Look at that nice premium chicken right in there. Got your toast on the side, the same kind of side dish, which we thought would be fries. Let's see how this one goes. Definitely exciting to taste of these flavors. I've tried everything here on the plate, and overall Kiki's today is good. I'm not sure it's as good as the last time I was here, but it is good. I think my favorite item is that Hawaiian omelet. Between the two, I like the pineapple in there, but I'm not sure I like it as much as the cheesesteak omelet last time I was here. Really, both great omelets so far. And the fajita chicken is a good option too. Overall, I'd say all their options are good in terms of omelets. I'm not a huge fan of that potato dish on the side, but it's okay. It's kind of like french fries, but like not. It's just like a potato cut up and sliced up and salted and oiled. And I do like the butter toast on the side too. You can make like a little sandwich. Add your potatoes and put some of your omelet on there maybe too. Have a bread toasty sandwich. Mike, your thoughts on the food here today? I really like it. The Hawaiian omelet is by far the winner, no doubt about it. I do like the uh, potatoes on the side. Somehow the seasoning and the oil in there is delicious. The fajita chicken omelet is okay. It's not my favorite. The uh, Hawaiian one, I'd come back for, no doubt about it. So there you have it, a good idea of what we got here today. And our favorite, clearly between the two of us, is both that Hawaiian omelet. But I'm sure we'll get the chance to try more flavors in the future. Now arriving at the Winter Garden kind of outdoor shopping mall area here. They've got this Super Target, this Best Buy and Marshall Home Goods, all kinds of good stuff to check out ahead. So we'll do a little bit of shopping here today and perhaps we'll see if there's anything that we want to shop for or we'll just enjoy being outdoors, some fresh air. And I've really been thinking about Marshall's Home Goods, TJ Maxx, so maybe I'll find some relevant stuff for myself there. Passing by Ross now. Definitely a store I've got my eye on. I like my discount shopping. But for now, thinking we'll make our way down to the Best Buy because we always need some new tech. And thanks to your very kind gift card, I'm gonna be ready for it. Back in Best Buy. And you say that three times fast? Looking around at all of the appliances and items. Enjoy. We know we're going for the camera section back there. Mike's leading that way and then Maybe we'll check out, actually camera section is probably a primary stop. I might look at some GoPro stuff in there, like GoPro batteries, we'll see. So Mike was looking at this ZV-1 here, digital camera apparently made ultimately, specifically for vloggers, which looks like a cool camera. I've also been thinking about that G7X Mark II, that original one right there. So lots of cameras to look at, but also gonna take a look back there at the GoPro section. Really cool to see lately, they've been running a deal on the GoPro Hero 8s. You can see the GoPro 7 here, the GoPro 7 Black, Hero 7 Black. You've got 330 for that one and then 450 for the one that's the bundle here. But the GoPro Hero 8 is actually currently on a deal, save $100 for $299. So you can actually buy a whole nother GoPro there for $300, really cool. I don't think I need another one, but it's just something to keep in mind in case maybe you 
are looking for a GoPro right now or if I find myself someday needing more GoPros. And that stabilizer for the GoPro looks pretty cool too. Now looking at more GoPro stuff, you've got the media mod here for $80. I'm using one of those right now. You've got the GoPro battery and charger right here, but you also have individual GoPro batteries. So I'm thinking about maybe a GoPro battery, maybe today, maybe at another point. I also like the idea of this sleeve and lanyard. You know, I could just wear my GoPro around my neck if I were going on a water slide perhaps, or just traveling around, an easy way to put it on your neck without using like a, a chest strap. So I don't know if that's an option or possibility. I also like this shorty. I'm using this now. Mine's kind of gotten weaker. So, so many options in terms of GoPro accessories, which might be useful for us in creating some content in the future. External hard drives are always useful for on the go or not on the go, saving some of your footage, keeping some of that older stuff and editing on. So something to keep in mind, we've got kind of desktop and mobile external hard drives. Again, so much useful gear potentially for vlogging and sharing the content with you. Now Mike is thinking about laptops too, you know. He also wants to be able to edit on the go. Yeah. Although I might be going more. He's looking at MacBooks. I think Mike's less likely to consider a Windows. Is that right? That's right. Now heading out of Best Buy. Next stop, maybe Marshall. Now stepping into Ross here. Now stepping into Ross, taking a look around at all kinds of stuff. Something I'm just now noticing is these lines on the ground here at Ross, so you can follow the flow of traffic. That's cool how they have that set up. I'm looking at some jeans for myself. I like these, but they're 32 by 32. I'm thinking they need to be a little bit shorter for me. I'm not sure. I have to uh, refigure out what my size is here, but nice to see they have options. So much to see. It seems like not quite a fit on the jeans today, but there's shoe options for me, all kinds of things to look at. Man, I'm tempted. We haven't even made it to Marshall's which is generally my go-to store. So I wasn't able to find what I was looking for in terms of the jeans or the shoes, but Mike, you got a couple of items. What'd you get? I sure did. I got a pair of dress shorts. You know, you live in Florida, gotta live that Florida life, dress shorts in and up. There you go. Okay, so you can be dressed up and fancy for your formal gatherings with your shorts. I have one pair of dress shorts, but yeah, next time hopefully I'll come across some jeans or some shoes that fit well for me. After Ross though, we got one more down there, Marshalls, maybe even Home Goods too, we'll see. We think Home Goods is connected to Marshall, so here we go. Look inside this Home Goods here. Love this feel and this smell, fresh smell. Let's go check out that Marshall's in the other half of the store. So shoe section a little bit more sparse than I was anticipating. Let's see what else we can find. If you were wondering where you can get something like what I trim my hair with, it's one of these. You can shave with it and cut your hair with it, for example, like that as you can see. You'll see they have little walls here on the checkout booths, so you can kind of buy your stuff in a little privacy section. I like it. So not a whole lot here today in the home goods or in the Marshalls for me. I was hoping to find some of those jeans, but one item I found was me undies. Now continuing to explore these winter garden shops. Not sure what shops are out here, but it seems like there's quite a bit of shop in this area. Really cool to see. So driving around, checking all those out. And it's nice to see the options, who knows? Maybe more stores, maybe some food, maybe just chilling. This mall area is huge. Look at this Winter Garden Village right here, that main building for it. So many buildings to walk around and see. Maybe we'll check out the Nike store over here. Okay, Nike. Let's see how these prices compare to the outlet mall. I wonder actually if we can find another Asics store around here too. And I'm talking about the Orlando outlet mall closer to the Disney character warehouse. Taking a look at quite a few of the pairs of shoes here. Nothing with as much cushion as I would like on the shoe, but a lot of cool styles you can see throughout the shelves. Who knows? Mikey browsing or maybe we'll find shoes at a later date. Here is a look at the directory. All the stores available here in the Winter Garden Village. It looks like you can see the map. It's a little bit darker here, a little bit kind of older, maybe need some washing, but you get the idea. A lot of options here store-wise. Here is this little Winter Garden Village kiosk here. It's kind of main area. You can chill, sit back, relax, and enjoy the formal feel of the shopping complex as a whole. Winter Garden Village. I definitely like it. I like the setup. I like how many store options there are. It's cool to see the layout all around. Aji Sushi here. Sushi and Hibachi, maybe. It says they are open. They open in about four minutes. Really cool looking sushi restaurant here. Another one maybe for us to check out at some point. Love to check out this mall, but now it's time to press onwards to the next destination. Maybe a few more 
What a fun variety filled shopping and exploring kind of day. Now here at Starbucks, we're trying a new beverage that one of you shared with us. It's a DIY pumpkin spice latte beverage. Really excited to try this one and see what it's all about. Stepping inside now, nice Starbucks too. I like the styling here. Let's do it. We're gonna do a venti iced chai latte, then seven pumps of pumpkin. So we're getting the chai spice latte with seven pumps of pumpkin, thanks to your recommendation. And thank you so much for your gift cards as well. Chai spice latte with seven pumps of pumpkin. I'm excited for it, we'll see how it tastes. Very cool to see their process here. I'm asking myself, what are they making all these drinks here? But then I forgot there's a drive through so you can actually drive through this Starbucks and order your drinks that way. I like it. Here it is, split into two cups, one of those large. It's a venti iced chai latte with seven pumps of pumpkin, split into two cups. Excited to try it, let's do it. So the chai spice latte with seven pumps of pumpkin is very good. It's very sugary with that pumpkin pie flavor, almost. I'd say it does have a bit of a, you can tell that there's some of that syrup in there, but really do love that flavor. Overall, it's up there. It's up there, especially in terms of iced coffee beverages at Starbucks, up there as one of my favorites. There are so many good options at Starbucks, but I would say you got a good one here. Mike, what do you think of your iced spiced and oh so nice pumpkin spicy chai spice latte here? Unbelievable, unbelievably amazing. I think it's my new favorite drink at Starbucks. It just, it won that quickly. It's sugary, it's delicious. It's better than most drinks that I've ever had. I'd go out of my way for this one. And you know I'm gonna be getting more, no doubt about it, yum. And that concludes today's variety adventure. So excited to share more variety adventures with you in the future. What did you think of today's video? If you liked it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. Until next time, play on. Here at Kiki's, thank you. I don't even remember what this is. What? I thought this was supposed to be fries. Oh, I thought so too. That's weird, I, I'm not sure. I'm not a huge fan of that potato. So there you have it, good stop today and you can get a better idea of which our family. Now arriving at Winter Garden Villages. Is it called Villages? Now arriving, arriving. <laughs> Winter Garden Mall, I guess. Let's go check off that Marstall's. Chai pump, no. Vente, iced chai spice lattes with seven pumps of pumpkin. It's a mouthful, but there it is.